it's not just sort of looking at the physical side, it's mental, it's training and kind of, I guess, breaking it down into all those things. As you get older, people think that you're just not going to be able to do a certain activity or learn something new. The book is meant to sort of overturn the bad guy in this story is the traditional idea around aging. I like to call it the long, slow rot theory. It's the idea that all of our physical skills decline over time, all of our mental skills decline over time, and there's nothing we can do to stop this life. That's the traditional view of aging. And it turns out only a small part of that is true. What is true is that our mental and physical skills do decline over time. There's overwhelming data that's accumulated over the past 20 years that all those skills are use it or lose it skills. And if you never stop training them, you get to hang on to them and even expand them far later in life than anybody thought possible. There's five categories of fitness that really need to be trained, which is strength, stamina, agility, flexibility, and balance. This is dynamic movement. Now, dynamic movement is particularly special for a couple of reasons. One, if you're engaged in dynamic activities and you're training up everything you need to train up over time, the World Health Organization has exact, how much should you train for peak performance aging? It's 150 to 300 minutes of moderate to vigorous aerobic to stamina activity a week two strength training days, three balance, flexibility, agility days. If you're serious about your training, that's a couple hours of training five days a week. Sorry for interrupting. Is that across the board, like depending on what age you are? There's two things that are really key here. And thank you for asking. It's a great question. Peak performance aging starts young. Aging is sort of a fact of life, but old is a mindset. The minute the voice in your head starts to say, I'm too old for this shit. That's where that mindset starts to show up. A lot of our physical skills, VO2 max, starts declining in our 20s. Strength starts declining in our early 30s, right? There's a line somewhere in there where you're like, if I'm not training this shit, it's really just fading. Like that's probably where the dividing line is. It's gonna be different for everyone. You sort of wanna train for the second half of your life a little bit like a professional athlete. You wanna train like a pro, you wanna learn to recover like a pro. You have to do it smart. You don't have to do it as hard, but you have to do it as smart. It turns out action sports are one way to do this in a smart fashion because you're either training five days a week, a couple hours a day, or you're finding a single activity that hits multiple boxes. We call this a multi-tool solution at the Flow Research Collective. It's a single tool that solves multiple problems at once. So we can't solve problems one at a time for people. It just takes too long. So we need single tools that solve a lot of problems at once. Action sports tend to be great for checking this box. 